Hi everybody, it's Dana Brigman of the Well Old Canine, and I want to talk to you about diluting essential oils. This is a very important step when we begin using essential oils with our dog. And the size of your dog may matter. The experience your dog has with essential oils may matter. And the purpose for which you're using them may matter. As will the type of oil. So you will hear people talk about essential oils being hot, right? Um, hot simply means that it's going to feel like this warm sensation on the body or in the mouth or gosh, if you get it in your eyes, it's going to feel really heated. And in some ways, things like peppermint, which are quite cool, will still feel a little spicy to your dog because he's not going to understand that sensation the first several times they experience it. So some of the hot oils would be considered clove, oregano, cinnamon, things that are very high in phenols. You'll, we'll talk more about that later. The thieves brand of essential oils or the blend of essential oils or oils containing those types of hotter oils will feel a little warm on the body. <clears throat> Most people talk about dilution in the term of I put an essential oil in the palm of my hand with a few drops of carrier oil. And I smear that around and then rub it on the animal or, you know, whether that's on its back for the fur or on a specific spot of the body. Most people call that a dilution. And I guess you can consider it to be so, but it's still a drop of oil that went on the body, right? Now, sure, your hands took a little bit of it, and we don't like to steal oil from our pets, so there are other ways that we can talk about how to do that. But um, technically, we still put a drop of essential oil on the dog's body, right? For a little itty bitty dog, that might be too much. When we do that, when we put oil and a carrier and then we use that to apply to the dog, basically what we're doing is creating a larger distribution area. So rather than dropping it and it lands in one spot, we're able to spread it out over a bigger area and to include these heavier carrier oils, which means the absorption is going to be slower. The molecules of essential oil are extremely small. When they have to fight against a fatty oil that has larger molecules, it's going to slow down the process of the absorption. Who gets to go in first? And so you'll see this slower process of absorbing the essential oil into the body. And again, the carrier allowed me to spread that over a larger area. And that might be great and perfect and wonderful for those things that are calming, those things that are soothing, and maybe even for some of the acute needs of things like first aid or tummy troubles or a boo-boo or uh, discomfort area, right? But if I'm doing something that's going to be on a more prolonged basis or for a puppy or a geriatric dog, senior citizen, a dog that's unwell, a dog that is extremely small, then I may need a true dilution, meaning I may need less than one drop. So how do you do that? How do you get less than one drop when you drop it out either into the palm of your hand or onto the animal? You make a dilution. <laughs> you make a new amount of essential oil. And you do that by either like a little spray bottle or taking an empty bottle of essential oil and putting 
a drop of oil and a certain number of drops of carrier. And from there, taking a drop of the new mixture. That's how you get a real dilution. So how much should we dilute something? If you're new and really just beginning to get started with this, I recommend for puppies and small dogs that we take one drop of oil and three drops of carrier. So I've diluted that by 75%, right? If I take, um, say a 10 pound dog to maybe 25 pounds, I might do a 50-50 dilution. One drop of oil, one drop of carrier, and then a new drop. So we take a drop of that new mixture, okay? If I'm doing a larger dog, I might apply a single drop. I'm sorry, I said that wrong, I said that wrong. 10 to 25 pounds, I'm gonna do, do by a third. So one drop of carry, two drops of carry. One drop of oil, two drops of carry. That's a third, that's a 66% dilution. And then 50-50, if they're somewhere between, say 30 and 50 pounds. If they're bigger than that, then I might use that essential oil neat for them or a single drop, right, a whole drop. And then when I move into the aging seniors or those pets that are really unwell, I might go back to the half and half or, or as low as the, the, the puppy dilution. So we begin small. You'll hear people talk about low and slow. I can always add more. I can always increase my frequency. What I can't do is pull it off or out if I've used too much. Now, I'll be very honest with you. I have never felt like I used too much. I've never felt like I overdid it. Um, and a lot of that relies on intuition. And there is a process that we will talk about called muscle testing, where you can actually ask the dog, how much do you need? <laughs> and they will help give you the answer. But Start with less, less is more, especially if we're gonna be doing a longer period of time, and learn what it is to make a dilution. So again, my definition of, of a true dilution is we take drops of essential oil, drops of carrier, in whatever ratio we're trying to create, we add them together in a bottle. Let that synergize. Now that's a word you haven't heard yet. We'll, we'll talk about that, but let them sort of come together. And then take a drop of the new mixture and use that for whatever period of time we need. Okay. So there, there's the school of thought of dilution being oil carrier rub it all on and then there's the dilution of create a new ratio and then use drops of that new mixture okay if you want to read this you want to sort of have it as reference um, my blog has a dilution article where i explain this and have it sort of written out that way i use this as a guide to get started. You may actually adjust um, in a significant way depending on your animal and the scenario that you're working through. Okay, so learn about dilutions and keep them in mind when you're applying to your pets.